it just started dumping snow and it is not going to stop for the next two days. I'm currently living out in my truck camper. Tonight and tomorrow, we are camping out solo, embracing all the fun that comes with the winter storm. Wow! Oh, is on today. Ooh. Step one is start the fire. Lately, I've been thinking about why I love winter camping so much. I think it makes me slow down and find comfort in the smallest ways. It's funny how much joy I find in simply stoking the fire or a morning cup of coffee. As the camper shelters me from the wind, it's hard not to be grateful. I'm thankful for the memories with my dad from the build and all the places this camper has brought me. And to this damn wood stove for keeping me so dry and warm. I know this thing isn't perfect, but it keeps my perspective fresh and brings me so much happiness. So what more could I ask for? One of my biggest goals in life is to one day build an off-grid cabin in the woods. I have a dream to share that journey with you too, but until then, I see this camper as a cheat code to getting a little taste of what that life will be like. This is one of my biggest logs I think I've ever put in this fireplace. I don't even know if it's gonna fit. It is a cold night, so it's time to get this puppy going. I just went into the car and grabbed all my stuff, so you know how it is. We're just hanging everything up, drying out my gear, jackets, snow pants, eating a muffin. Skiing a lot lately, and I'm honestly just exhausted right now. The reason my gear is all wet and why I'm so exhausted is because I've spent the last two days ski touring in one of my favorite places, Glacier National Park. I love the mountains here, and days spent skiing in the backcountry are just the best. I mean, it's pretty hard to beat this for a lunch spot, especially when you get a ski down afterwards. I also went for a cold water swim, and it was awesome. This video shows more about what I was up to before this trip, and other than that, I've just been hiding out from the storm, trying to get some editing done. So unfortunately I passed out. That's just how tired I was. So I guess I needed a nap. It's officially bedtime. So it's pretty late now. I am just getting the fire warm for bed and see you in the morning. It's not often I get the fire going in the morning, but I'm gonna be hanging out here for a while. It's only 6 a.m. So I'll probably be here till eight. We got the snow plows out today. Fire's going good. fire alarm just went off i i'm telling you guys just the fumes from cooking the propane sometimes this thing goes off from just the propane veggie egg scramble first time hopping outside for the day Ooh, that's how much it snowed last night on the step ladder Ooh, oh it's deep oh just gonna close. Yeah, there's the baby. Oh, we got icicles. We got icicles. Holy icicles. Yeah, we are gonna have a good day at the hill today. Yeah, I get the camper super warm with the wood stove. And then, of course, it melts. I can't even get to my step ladder.
Unfortunately, there's a huge line at the bottom of Revelstoke right now, so I'm just kind of waiting it out, enjoying my coffee. The last of the log is just burning off there, so just kind of hanging out, enjoying the morning here, away from all this stormy weather. Oh! Snowed so much already since this morning. Oh, it's pretty good. You okay? Yeah, looking for a ski. Oh no. Did you look like What's just that? further like down from there? Yeah. So what happened? You fell up there? Oh like way further up, but my ski's at tons of speed. I had tons of speed in my skis too. Bummer. Yeah. Yes. Hey! Hey, yo! Yo! Let's go! I found it! Thank you so much! No worries, bro! I found a ski. He's frothed up. So we can get it back in shape for him. Oh, bro. Thank you so much. No worries, man. Have an awesome day. <laughs> Honestly, losing your ski out here. Oh, man. It can take hours to find it. The snow is so deep today. Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo is on today. Little chunky still. Woo oh yeah. That's how pal makes me feel. All right. Second run. Thanks so much for joining me on another camping trip. If you want to see what happened before this trip, click here. And if you want to see what happens on the second night, click here.